up stud squad it is i logan and today we are going to be talking about our top 10 most anticipated lego star wars minifigures to come out in the 2021 summer wave so if you can please remember to subscribe and hit the bell we are so close to 11,000 subscribers so every sub would be much appreciated and let's get on into it as you guys know, we did get rumors for the LEGO Star Wars 2021 sets, and after LEGO basically asked them to be taken down, that pretty much confirmed them. So every rumor we have here is based off of what the set will be coming in and what has been told to us so far throughout these rumors. And these are just the figures I'm most excited to see before we get leaks, before we get any indication of what we lo they look like. I just want to talk about them in this video and the ones I'm really excited to see. And we're going to start off with number 10, which is Hunter from the Bad Batch. Hunter is one of the more basic Bad Batch members. He's coming in the Bad Batch shuttle. I'm really curious to see how they're going to handle him. I'm worried with the Bad Batch that they're not going to give them helmets altogether. Like, they're going to just do pr uh, torso print, leg print, maybe even arm print. And then they're just going to give them a hairpiece and no helmet, which is what seriously concerns me. And I'm only going to really talk about that with him. But my guess for him is he'll probably come with his knife as an accessory. And he'll probably come with his hairpiece. Uh, I hope he comes with his helmet, but if not, we'll be okay, I guess. I'm just really, I'm, I'm really concerned. I was thinking that he, they might not come with their helmets. But if they do, it'll still be okay. It's just less exciting. But Hunter should be a really cool character. And then the next one is Fennec Shand. Fennec Shand at number 9. Now, I'm excited to see Fennec Shand. Now, if she comes with her helmet or not, I think she will. I, I honestly think they would put f give Fennec her helmet. But she's coming in Moff Gideon's light cruiser at 160 bucks for that set. And I think Fennec's going to be a neat character to see. Supposedly, we were supposed to get Cara Dune. I don't know if that's going to be there. So maybe they'll take Cara Dune out and put in even another figure that we don't know about. So maybe like Boba or Luke. I wouldn't be shocked if they put in a Luke because they already have one made. So that would be a nice, easy figure. But yeah, so anyway, there's speaking of that, going back around. But Fennec Shand, I'd ex presume she comes with some sort of sniper piece. She probably comes with her hair. She comes with her face print. She comes with every print. That's obviously a given. And the helmet is the real... Uh, toss up there, but let's move into number eight. At number eight, we have Crosshair. Now, he's another Bad Batch member. I think if anyone in the Bad Batch was to get a helmet, it would be him. His resembles most to the clone troopers, and I actually like him. The only thing is he'd have to have a visor thing on his phase two design, and I'd actually really be curious to see how they do him. I assume they're giving him a sniper, obviously. Maybe they'll give him a nice grenade. I'm just super excited to see Crosshair in a Lego set, and let's move into number seven. Now, this one is Wrecker. Now, I think the perfect way for them to do Wrecker would be using a Mandalorian helmet to print on. I don't think that using a clone helmet would be good for Wrecker. And they could do a custom mold, which I'd be fine with. Actually, I don't see that being too bad. But I think a Mandalorian helmet would certainly work for him. I hope there's a feature where you could somehow keep the helmet on top of his head because he likes to wear it weirdly like that. Uh, but yeah, so I assume he'd probably come with a weapon, maybe a pistol or something. Uh, maybe a heavy gun. I really don't know what Wrecker would come with exactly. Uh, he's known for using his brute force instead of that. But that would be a super cool figure. And let's move into number six. Now, number six is what I'm really excited for. And it is the Mustard Trooper, or the Mortar Trooper. And now, this guy was in the Mandalorian Season 2. Uh, he is going to be in the Imperial Hover Tank type set with uh, Grief Karga, who I didn't put on this list. But still cool nonetheless. Now, this guy would basically be the Flame Trooper, but uh, yellow. And we haven't gotten a Flame Trooper even. But the thing I'm really excited about for this is it's going to be our first real, like, uh, modernized, customized uh, version of the new Stormtrooper design. Like, we've got, I know we've gotten the Sand Trooper, but that's kind of different. We haven't really gotten one with, like, markings like a Flame Trooper or a Heavy Trooper or uh, another one. I know we have gotten also the Black uh, Stormtrooper one, but the Mustard Trooper should be cool. I'm curious to see if they're going to give him, like, a side pauldron like the Sand Trooper or how they're going to do that. I assume they're going to give him a backpack. I assume the Mortar's also coming with that. But the minifigure should just be super neat. I know Baggles for Real made a really cool design of one, so I'll show that. But this guy is just so exciting to get, and I'm just really hyped. Now, moving into number five, we have Tech. Now, Tech is supposedly going to be having a new helmet mold, uh, which obviously has to be expected. But that helmet mold is really what I'm excited for. I assume it's going to be two pieces. Maybe you'll get, like, the top half and then the little visor half. Uh, as a thing you connect to, through each, uh, you know, ear hole or whatever you call it, the little side holes. And I think he'd be a neat figure. Maybe he'll come with a little hollow pad of pistols. I'll assume he come with, comes with a backpack. The tech is just a neat character overall. And again, I'm worried that 
these characters are going to be coming with just hair hair pieces, but the fact that people have been talking about how he's going to get a custom helmet really excites me to the fact that we might not get that. But either way, I think a hair piece would probably be a nice inclusion. We'll, we'll just see where they go. Now, rounding up the Bad Batch at number four is Echo. I'm especially excited for Echo. Um, not only because he will most likely come with some sort of special arm mold that will allow him to have his little uh, screwdriver or whatever as an arm, and I think it will be super neat, but I think it's really just a nice stepping point for LEGO, and supposedly we're getting Echo, Echo, but I think it's just a really nice stepping point for LEGO, especially because for how many years have we wanted an Echo? And I know this is not the Echo we wanted, this is an ARC Trooper Echo, but the principle of the fact that we're getting this character that we've wanted so desperately for so long and obviously, again, it's no fives, it's no phase two Cody, but the fact that we're getting an Echo, I am very happy about, and it's very nice to see Echo. It's going to be so nice to see him in a LEGO interpretation. I never thought I'd see the day where Echo would be on an official LEGO set, and I think it's just going to be super awesome, and this Bad Bass shuttle is just packed full of figures, and his screwdriver piece... Will probably be cool assuming he has that. If not, it'll probably just be a silver hand or something. But let's move into number three. Number three, it will finally be nice to get our first official uh, Moff Gideon minifigure. Now, Moff Gideon, obviously, very cool character. I like him a lot. And it's just going to be awesome to see uh, us get him. People have been customizing him for almost two years now uh, because of his appearances in Season 1 and Season 2 and the trailers in Season 1. People have just been so hyped about Moff Gideon. And he's a fairly easy figure to design. Uh, and the reason I'm more hyped about him is because of the Darksaber. So LEGO could go one of two ways. They could do the way they did the Darksaber with Darth Maul in 2013 by just giving him a lightsaber blade that has a black hilt in it. And it's nothing special, nothing printed, nothing like that resembles the Darksaber. It's just crud. Or they could do it the interesting way and make a completely new mold, which I think LEGO would do. Especially because they've done sword stuff. Now, I'd hope they'd print on it. Uh, that would be obviously the hope. But obviously, you can't win them all, but let's move into number two. At number two, we have Gar Saxon. Now, he's even coming with the helmet. Uh, Gar Saxon from the Clone Wars. This is going to be great. I'm really excited about Gar Saxon. Gar Saxon, obviously, was in Clone Wars Season 7, uh, and he was also in Rebels, but this is the appearance we're getting him in. He's coming in uh, Bo-Katan ship, which should be really cool. That set's going for about 60 bucks, and I'm just so excited to see... Uh, him with the print, with the face print, hopefully, and the helmet mold is certainly going to be the most exciting thing. I'm really curious to see how LEGO does that, especially because I, I know that's going to be a difficult thing for them to pull off, and I hope we see him. But before we get into number one, I want to talk about some other figures that are going to be pretty cool in this wave before we get into our final pick. Now, first off, there's a possibility we're getting a Dark Trooper in the Moff Gideon's Light Cruiser, so obviously that would rank up much higher if we had that pretty much confirmed, but we don't, so I didn't put him on the list. But a Dark Trooper will certainly be awesome. Also, I'm curious to see what the Mandalorian, the extra Mandalorian in Bo-Katan chip's going to look like. Now, supposedly in Bo-Katan, in that set with Bo-Katan, we're getting Bo-Katan, Gar Saxon, and a Rebel... And a regular Mandalorian. Now, my personal hope is that maybe it's not a Mandalorian and it's going to be Captain Rex. Maybe someone just looked at it wrongly or whatever. I hope it's Captain Rex. It probably won't be because I think the only character, main character we need from the Clone Wars Season 7 after this is Captain Rex. also wanted to say Darth Maul. Now, the reason I didn't have Darth Maul higher up on here, and again, I'm super hyped for him, uh, is because we already got a version of him with his new metal legs in the uh, LEGO Star Wars book that we had, which is still on Amazon. And the only real difference from that one, I presume, will be he's not going to have his uh, little chain around his neck, which obviously not as cool, uh, but it's certainly a nice thing that I'm hoping will be great, and I'm just looking forward to him, but I wouldn't say he's like in the top 10 with all the other boys who are going to be pretty new. Pretty much everyone is going to be new, and let's move into our number one pick. Now, this is obviously Bo-Katan. It, go it goes without saying, Bo-Katan is a very miss... is a very cool character that has been pretty much forgotten to be made by LEGO. I think it's amazing that Bo-Katan is finally getting her debut in LEGO Star Wars, and I think it's going to be great. Uh, now, obviously, I assume she's going to probably come in the same form as some of the Mandalorians in the Mando Battle Pack, maybe a Jet Pack, maybe even Silver Pistols. We'll really have to wait and see. I assume it's probably going to be in the style of a Sabine-type character. I assume it'll come with hair, and I'm just so excited for Bo-Katan. But let me hear what you guys think. I want to know what figures you're most hyped for with this new wave. Tell me in the comments down below, did I miss anyone? Is there anything I missed? I want to know. Tell me on the next one. I'll see you all in the next one. Remember to peace out and stay awesome. Mm -hmm.